Hey there guys, welcome back to another episode of Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays collection. I'm your host, Mike. Thanks guys for coming back. Excuse me. Today's a uh, films I love to rewatch episode. Um, this is where I like to show everybody uh, movies I really love to come back to and watch that are just favorites. Movies that just really hold up and uh, in some cases have been like lifelong favorite movies and stuff so so today I thought I'd focus on a movie and I, I f found out figured out that I, I have multiple copies of it I mean I'm not a I don't get every copy that comes off off the production line or anything but uh, these are just some I guess I've picked up different versions with for different things over the years but I'll start off with the laser disc this is um, the, obviously the oldest uh, version in this little collection here but a movie I want to talk about today is The Long Goodbye from 1973 it's 50 years old this year directed by Robert Altman this is a uh, a uh, kind of a, I guess you could call it a neo-noir um, really 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 good uh, starring Elliot Gould um, really cool um it's got a great cast. It's got a uh, Nina Van Pallant. Uh, Sterling Hayden has a very memorable role in this. Uh, this was a screenplay by Leigh Brackett. It's based on a Raymond Chandler novel and uh, and uh, has a very memorable musical score throughout the movie. Um, it's basically the same the same little. Uh, same little bit but it's done different ways so like he'll walk into like say he's in the supermarket finding some curry brand cat food he hears it over the you know the Muzak playing and then um, he'll hear you know goes into a little bar and there's a singer in there and she's singing the song the melody you hear the keep hearing the melody different ways throughout the music or through the movie it's really cool uh, and it was done by John T. Williams. I guess that's John Williams before he became John Williams. But John T. They probably called him J.T. J.T. Williams. Uh, but great movie. Uh, it it really has its own little pace. It has its pay, you know, its own little pace to it and everything. And it, it some people may not get it. Uh, it may be kind of confusing the first time you watch it just to kind of it's you know it's pace that it's got now this was featured in a recent you know Noir City magazine um, article about a stoner noir uh, kind of a subgenre and everything so this is you know the early 70s and you know um, um, what's his name what does he play Mar oh, yeah Philip Marlowe and uh, Marlowe's kind of just a super laid back guy. If he was any more laid back, he'd be asleep. Uh, cool, cool as a cucumber. He drives around in a old, uh, I believe it's, yeah, I believe it's in like an early to mid 40s sedan. I believe it's, a, yeah, a sedan, I think. And, uh, or maybe I'm picturing something else. Anyways, he's got a nice car in there. He, he kind of lives he lives his own little way you know he's got his own way about him and stuff and um it, it turns into this really cool mystery you know his best friend did did he kill his wife did he not and, da, da, da. and it, it seems like he can't catch a break uh in this movie and it's it's hilarious and um it's just got some it's got a really kind of a freaked out performance by uh, Sterling Hayden which was probably one of his last well no he did a few more movies after this but um he wouldn't make too many more he was already looking very very old 
for his, you know, he wasn't that old at the time. He just, you know, hard living and everything. Uh, but love, love Sterling Hayden in, 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 the, in the movies that he's really good in, you just really love it. And then he's been in some so-so movies that really don't catch on and stuff. And but um, but anyways, uh, overall great movie. Um, it just has this whole vibe to it, and um, it, it's it's really good for you know in a certain mood, and you just want to kind of watch it. And it's 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 really great. I, I really like it. Uh, so that's the Laserdisc edition I have, and then I have this um, Kino Blu-ray. Uh, came out a few years ago and uh basically it's got a lot of the leftovers i think from the what's it called the twilight time release of it i believe because it's got um it's got it's got a featurette uh it's got an in it's got a pretty cool interview with uh vilma zygmunt the uh, cinematographer it's got some radio adverts and the trailer and stuff but pretty cool and uh, i think you got dual artwork no don't got dual artwork uh but anyways pretty cool it's i mean it's a nice transfer um i didn't see any problems with it but i've, I've heard different stuff about it but anyways finally this is the um aero academy blu-ray of it and uh, this is a region b and uh, this one has dual artwork yeah yeah, this one has dual artwork and it's got a little bit more yeah it's got quite a bit more stuff as far as extras and i think that's why i picked this up because of the extras on here but it's basically got everything kino's got but it's got probably just that much more different stuff on here so it's got quite a bit of extras compared to kino and uh um and uh, to me, they, they look they look very similar print wise. I mean, you know, they're probably from the same, you know, high definition print. Um, yeah, it's a high definition, you know, kind of an upgrade. It's cleaned up a little bit, a little sharper than the DVD, and the, because the DVD is based on that laser disc right there. So, so yeah, it's probably the best uh, it's looked in a while, and I, I believe it's on. It's still there's some other newer blue um, Blu-ray releases of this. I'm, I'm not sure if there's a 4K or if there's been a 4K announced, something like that. But anyways, really good movie. No matter what edition you pick up, uh, it's been out forever. So, you know, you got your pick DVD, you got your Blu-ray, you got your Laserdisc, you got your Beta, Bebe, your VHS, you got... It, it's probably been on everything. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoy this movie. I recommend it if you've never seen it. Um, kind of look up neo-noir, especially 1970s neo-noir. And... Uh, check out some of those there's some really cool uh stuff that was made that that decade um you know besides like chinatown being the best one made in the 70s hands down one of the very best neo-noirs film noirs movies of all time uh, but um yeah check out check out some of the 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 new kind of the new wave of noir uh, detective movies and stuff that came out in the 70s a lot of cool stuff there so there you go guys hope you enjoyed that comments are welcome uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it helps the algorithm they say uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, i'll see you guys later take it easy